good morning. Morning. It's oily. It, <laughs> oily. <laughs> early. <laughs> it is oily. It's about 20 past seven. We've made an early start today. Because it's forecast to be about 30 odd degrees. We don't want to be doing that middle of the day. I'm not getting a sweat on for you lot. No. <laughs> it's not for them, it's for us. <laughs> so uh, we've made an early start to try and beat the heat. We want to get moored up for like midday so we're not doing about 11 locks in this 32 degrees that's forecast. Uh, we're on the River Calder again, it's still on the Calder and Hebel. We left Shepley Bridge about 20 minutes ago and we're on its way to Huddersfield. So as soon as we come to Cooper Bridge in about a mile we're going to be turning left. It's a junction at Cooper Bridge. You can turn right and go up the Rochdale Canal or left down onto the Huddersfield which is where we're going. That was Cooper Bridge Lock and it's literally like uh, maybe a quarter, a third of a mile. Woo! Echo! Echo! Until we get to Cooper Bridge Flood Lock and then Cooper Bridge Junction. So this is where the Calder and Hebel navigation splits. Uh, it goes kind of northwest onto the Rochdale Canal but we're gonna turn like a literally a 360 degree left turn down onto the Huddersfield Canal. Off the Calder and Hebel then, and onto the Huddersfield Broad Canal. We came the other way on our old boat, uh, down the Huddersfield Broad and back on the Calder and Hebel. And this time we go in west. I had to think for a minute then. Did you? I did then. <laughs> Blackberry picking. Loads and loads of blackberries. We've got here before you, Fran. set off at seven o'clock this morning to try and avoid the heat. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that, it is uh, about half past 11. So we're gonna miss the hottest part, aren't we? Yeah, we're not far now. We're probably about 20 minutes away from our mooring. No more locks. I think we've got a lift bridge, I think. According to the book, we've got a lift bridge. The book? The book. Let me check my book. I am hotter than a what do they used to, used to call it? Summit's armpit. <laughs> Hotter than a Navi's armpit, is it? I don't know. No idea. Have I just made that up? I think so. Uh, that great big erection you can see in the background is the chimney from Huddersfield waste thingy, where all the waste lorries go. So we're coming into Huddersfield and you know when you look at the Nicholson's and Pearson's guides how all the bridges and locks are named and numbered. Well in Huddersfield there's actually a bend that's named and it's this one. Guess what it's called? It's called Tight Bend. <laughs> so we set the video camera up at the front so we can see if Sean 
can get round said tight bend in one turn without having to use his bow thruster. If he does it without any aid or bumping the sides or using his bow thruster, I will streak naked in one of the vlogs. Oh, oh there's the bow thruster. Oh well, you'll have to do without the streaking. It's grand this morning, isn't it? Again. Uh, we just we've come to the end of the Huddersfield Broad Canal and we're just about to start on the narrow canal uh, just under that tunnel that goes under that road and round the corner past the university that's where the Huddersfield Narrow Canal starts so already we've got to take the kayak off the roof because as you can see I don't know if you can see that the boat's probably higher than the tunnel uh, the tunnel is very low so we've got to take the kayak off the roof we're going to put it in the boat today uh, and then put it back on the roof tonight. We're gonna to have to take it up again anyway when we go through Standage Tunnel. So it's a practice run. So it's a practice run. Uh, here we are, right at the very beginning of the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. <laughs> Tiny locks. You can't even see the lock from here, can you? Uh, it's, a, it's actually a relatively short canal. It's only just under 20 miles long. And it links the Huddersfield Broad Canal in Huddersfield to the Ashton Canal, just on the uh, eastern side of Manchester. 20 miles, 74 locks, and the highest, steepest, deepest, longest, slopiest, scariest tunnel in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's going to be some bangs. It's quite an old canal. Started building it in 1793, opened in 1811, closed again in 1944, and then in 1981, just like many other canals, a group of interested people started restoring it, and it opened again fully in 2001. Are you clever? You I can't even see. remember what time I got up. <laughs> So today we're going to go from lock 1E, which is the first lock, and we're going to go up to Slowit. You ready? Yeah. Crack <laughs> on. So um, at the other side of Bates Tunnel, uh, which is this thing here, uh, Sean was going to walk onto the next lock, which is right in front of me, literally uh, six yards in front of the front of the boat, and he's disappeared. <laughs> We've lost radio contact with him, and I have absolutely no idea where he is. So I'm going to let myself into the lock and just hope that he turns up. Come out of Bates Tunnel, there's no towpath between the first lock and the second lock. You have to get on your boat. And there's a sign that says that. Oops. Uh, so Sean's about 300 yards ahead of me, getting lock three ready. And I'm doing this one on my own.
The stretch of canal just after Lock 3E is really narrow, like just enough for a 6 foot 10 narrowboat. It also curves so you can't see if there's anything coming the other way, which today there was. Luckily the skipper on the other boat saw us and he managed to reverse back into the passing point. But can you imagine if two really stubborn boaters met in the middle and refused to move? It'd be like high noon on the Huddersfield Narrow. That was lock number eight of 21 and I'm making him walk. <laughs> it's pretty common to find low or even empty pounds between the locks on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal and we had to run water from the locks further up just to fill the pounds enough for us to get the boat through and even then it was really scraping the bottom we grounded about three times the problem is you have to be careful how much water you take from further up because you could end up leaving that empty or if there's some boats moored up there you could damage them So we got away about quarter past nine this morning. Uh, it's now just after two o'clock. We've just passed lock 18. Uh, Sean's empty in lock 19. Hopefully we've got a mooring just after lock 21. Uh, pickle lock, just before pickle lock in Slawit or Slaithway, if you want to Google where that is, it's pronounced Slawit. There's actually a bit of an argument about how it's pronounced, but we're going to call it Slawit. Uh, so three more locks to do. 19, 20 and 21, Colin's tip of the day, don't try and do 21 locks in the blazing sunshine and it's 30 degrees. It was all going so well. Now we're stuck. We started off at Slawit this morning, uh, lock 21E. Uh, we're now on 29 and we've come to a standstill. We got here, got in the lock and went to open the ground paddles to come up and they're both chained off. The pound just after us between 29 and 30, virtually empty. Ooh, I'm burping coffee. Uh, as, look, as luck would have it, the CRT, the noise you can hear behind us, oh, and again, uh, we're arriving just as we got here and they told us that they were having problems with the water supply. There's a leak in the gates in this lock and a problem with the towpath further on. So we have to uh, get the CRT to unlock the gates, uh, empty some water from a reservoir a couple of locks up and filter it all the way down so that we can get up. Apparently it's in the stoppages list. Well, uh, <laughs> the important thing is that the pound is filling up. We can see it filling up now and we should be moving again in, oh, I don't know, about 12 minutes.
That's lock 31E behind us. So the CRT released some water from the reservoir, filled up the pounds between the three locks, and we're on the move again. And it's raining. Uh, we did find out that there's two, or possibly three boats behind us. Uh, there was two in Slawick this morning when we left that were facing this way. So they might be catching us up. Uh, but it does mean that we get like pick of the moorings once we get up to Marsden. This is Spath Reservoir. It holds water that comes down off the hills near Marsden and the CRT use it to keep the Huddersfield Narrow Canal topped up. So when we were stuck at Lock 29, this is where the team from CRT came to open some gates and fill us up a little bit. Now usually they tell you not to swim in reservoirs, too deep and too dangerous. But people have swum in this one for years, donkey's years, 20, 30 years. But British Waterways put a no swimming sign up about eight, nine years ago and people didn't like it, I tell you. There was uproar, they started a campaign. And it was only a couple of years ago that the CRT took the signs down and replaced them with something a bit more sensible. So now people use it for swimming again. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? Tell you what, it's not warm <laughs> and it's a bit of a shock when you first jump in, but it's actually not that bad. absolutely bouncing down. Uh, we are at lock 37E of 42, so five more to do after this. Uh, we've actually given up with Dylan, poor thing, he didn't want to go in, he preferred to stand out in the rain all day and he'd just been in the canal anyway so he was wet through. Who jumped in the water. Uh, so Sean's just gone to set lock 38. Oh. Hopefully it'll either dry up or time will go pretty fast and we can get mowed up and get a shower. Nobody can ever say that we're fair weather boaters. <laughs> Had to get changed. <laughs> Bless him, he was soaked to the skin, wasn't you? I was. <laughs> Funny. After a while you get so wet that it just doesn't matter anymore, so you just kind of stand there. Dylan was absolutely loving it, we had to make him go in the boat and towel him down a little bit and get a fire going, just to keep him warm. He was stood there freezing. Shivering, but he didn't want to come in, he was he was actually happy up there. <laughs> so we're here, uh, we've just got above railway lock, which is lock 42E for east, and it's the last lock before Standage Tunnel. It's about 10 minutes away uh, is Standage Tunnel. But this is where we have to moor tonight. Uh, we can moor further towards the tunnel uh, later tonight or early tomorrow morning. Yes. But tomorrow it's Standage Tunnel. Uh, we are a bit nervous, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. When we got the boat, everybody was saying like, oh, you can't get it scratched. And we we're like, no, no, it's meant to get scratched. And it is, and it's got uh, like a million dents and scratches and dings and chunks missing out of it. But that's the, the blacking and the, the gunnels, we don't mind that. It's the silver is a little bit more difficult to fix. And that can happen in Standage Tunnel. Because it's not like a standard canal shaped canal. It can be kind of, it can come in above the gunnels. And it's rocky and narrow and bendy. So the potential for chunks coming out of the silver work is quite high. And that's what we're nervous about. 
But it's not going to stop us doing it, is no, it? No, we're still doing it. It's a boat and it'll be fixed. If anything does get scratched or dinged or a chunk taken out of it, we'll just put a new chunk in and smooth it over. <laughs> you put a new chunk in. It's simple as that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so that is to come next time. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing the Standage Tunnel uh, vlog and I hope you like it. That's coming next week. We're and having cake now. Yeah, coffee and cake. Uh, wow, look at the ice in that. Wow. I've already had a piece. <laughs> As usual, if you've liked this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Come on, we got absolutely drenched wet through. I jumped in a reservoir. What else do you people want? <laughs> that weren't going in. <laughs> uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you hit the bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new episode. Any comments or questions or feedback, leave it down below for us. We're having our well-deserved cup of coffee and piece of cake. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. It is freezing. Oh, I'm a bit low. If you're a bit low, I'm a bit too high. It's chopped, chopped my head off, look. Oh, yeah. I never wanted to do the Uddersfield Narrow Canal. You fibber! <laughs> <clears throat> Push me out, shot you. <gasps> it's, too it's too early. I allow myself two mistakes, and that was four. <laughs> I had to think for a minute then. Did you? I did then. <laughs> this is a little bit weird because the sun's right behind us, which means it's going to be a really shot. <laughs> Smile you miserable bugger. Oh my god it's freezing. <laughs> you want to come in and join me? Ooh. That one's slow Dylan. Dylan nearly fell. Cut lines on my forehead from stress. Fill them up with, I don't know, licorice or something.